face sets are an essential part of the sculpting workspace within Blender that you need to learn and understand. One amazing aspect is that you can sculpt on particular areas and exclude others really easily. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up face sets and how you can use this really amazing feature. And if you like what I do, then do check out the links in the description to my courses. And you'll also find a link to my Substack on there where you can get written tutorials just like this. So I'm in the sculpting workspace. I've got my screencast keys down here and I'm in Blender 4.4.3. I've got my axe model in the middle. It's two different objects. And incidentally, I can jump between them with Alt Q. So Alt Q over the head of the axe and it will jump to that and Alt Q over the handle and it will jump there. And the handle has four face sets, the wood, these kind of ringlet pieces and the strap. So I'll start off with showing you how you can remove any face sets on an object. So I can start with a blank slate and that will introduce you to the face set menu up the top here. So if I use face set from visible, that will make a face set of any part of my mesh that we can see. My whole handle is visible, so it will actually remove all the face sets or clear them. When you've only got one face set, it makes it all gray as if you haven't got any. So with that option, face sets and then face set from visible, that means you can obviously box hide with the box hide option here and select certain parts, go up to your face sets menu, face set from visible, and that's actually filling it in this time, Alt H to bring back the rest of my mesh. You can see it's turned my visible into a face set, but I'll undo that for now. So that's using the face set from visible. There's face set from masked as well. So if I use my mask brush here and the mask brush, if I paint that on, will paint a black area and that's an area I can't sculpt on. So if I go to my draw brush, try and sculpt, you can see it's excluding the black area. I'll undo the sculpt I've done. And sometimes when you've drawn a mask, you want to keep that mask as it were. Well, it's a good idea to turn that into a face set. So we go up to the face set menu, face set from mask, and you can see it's created a face set. But it's very important to be aware that your mask is actually still there. So you might start sculpting with the draw brush, start sculpting and think, why is it not sculpting over my face set? That's because the mask is still on. So I'll undo that. I'll press Alt M to clear the mask. And generally face sets are a little bit of a brighter color like this, which helps us to see when we've got a mask on, when it's a dark color that you saw earlier. So again, I'll undo those changes. So that's face sets from masked. Also, we've got face set from edit mode selection. So if I jump to edit mode and I can press control tab to go to the pie menu and go across to edit mode. And of course that's edit mode up the top here as well. I'll press Alt A to deselect all so you can see nothing selected. It's a very dense mesh of course, but I can select an area. In fact, I'll go to wireframe, so Alt Z and then select an area. So it goes all the way through my shape. Then I can go back to sculpt mode. So again, I can come up to the top here or I can use my pie menu, control tab down to sculpt mode and then face sets from edit mode selection and you can see that selected there but again i'll undo that and i'll come out of wireframe mode as well so alt said the easier way to make face sets is to actually use the face set draw brush just here or the selection tools just here and you can click on the box face select and hold it down to get different selection tools. I'll start with the draw face sets brush and you can actually see there's a brush down in your brush panel for drawing face sets that you can click on. And let's zoom in a bit and I'll start drawing my face set. So I hold down left click and draw over my object or I can use a pen and hold that down and draw. But as soon as I release and start drawing again, it draws a new face set. Now, what if I want to erase the face sets? Well, the gray is kind of a face set in itself now and I can hold down control, start drawing. I can then release control. But when I draw now, because I started by holding down control and moving over these colors, I can scrub over them with the gray. So basically what you are doing, if I now hold down control over the purple and then start drawing, you're extending out that face set. So holding down control, you can extend out the face sets and draw. So that's how we can erase or extend a face set. And at any time you think it's a complete mess, you can come up to face sets, face set from visible and it deletes them all. So that's the draw face sets tool. The easier way though is using things like the box select face set tool or some of the other selection tool options. So I'll start with the box select, make sure that's selected. And it's fairly obvious you just box select and you can make face sets. And obviously every time I click, it creates a new one. Underneath that is the lasso face select. I'll go to front view for this and I'll actually select the wood part of the handle for this and draw a face set for that. So there we can see it's drawn a fairly good face set and I could clear that up with the draw face brushes by holding down control over the purple bit and then painting those areas that I kind of messed up. 
Back to front view though, and let's take a look at some of the other ones. So hold down control, there's line face select. So depending on which way you draw the line, so that's going downwards, that creates a face set that way. I'll undo that and do it upwards by coming from the other direction and that's pointing upwards. At any point you can press F to flip as well and you can see that control down the bottom of your screen and there I've created a face set. Just watch out for these little bits of face set that you might have in between. They can be a pain so make sure you clear those up. And again back to the draw tool and you can hold down control and draw that area in there and I'll hold down control on the purple and draw that there. I'm being a bit rough for the sake of a tutorial. The other one of the options is the polygon face select tool. So again, I'll go to front view and you can actually draw a polygon, which I think is probably the easiest to be honest. And that creates a face set. So I can create another face set for the handle and you just press enter to confirm. And let's create another one for this ringlet down here. And you can see I've got a few face sets there, a little bit scruffy with these tiny bits in between, but hopefully you get the idea from this. Now it's important to note that you might want to do a remesh at some point. If you do a remesh and you have the preserve attributes option enabled, you can remesh and it will keep those face sets. Lastly then, and probably the most important aspect of face sets and why they're so useful is there's this button in the middle here. So we can do auto masking for face sets. And now let's go to the draw tool. I'll go in and whatever I start sculpting on, that's the only face set that will be affected. So if I undo that, start drawing on the handle, you can see that's the only bit being affected. And the strap here, because I started on the strap, that's the only bit being affected. I'll undo those changes. And of course, at any time, you just turn this button off and you can go in and let's say work between two different face sets without a problem. And that's why using face sets is so incredibly useful. So hopefully you've learned from this the ins and outs of how to draw face sets and of course why they're so useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.